Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around. I know the quickest way. Follow me. Say, is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash, so it's all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? I suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No! Wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrent. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. <sighs> All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. Hey! We're taking the next right, up towards Manzanita Post. Now, where were you? People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack, and it stays there. I mean it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Nils. Nils, it's me. All right, then. Beecher's Hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, hadn't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. World needs men like you. And men... Oh! Everyone find some cover!
All right. You alive? No. Mr. Milton, Mr. Smith! They got me! I found the tools. Now, where's Mr. Ago, he was chewing my ear off. Mr. Way didn't make it. Dear Lord, no. We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on, help me. All right, let's get out of here. something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this... this kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Then I hope we put an end to it. There was a caravan. A few months back, massacred. Uncle!
Good morning. 